Absolutely not. There's a lot I want to say on this, and even then, three minutes is not enough. While I know you're using liberals here as a catch-all for anything left of center, it's not exactly great, right, but we're just going to roll with that just for simplicity's sake. So let's take a hypothetical here. Conservative, like, uh, I want to start a housing first program in, 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 in your town. Uh, we, you know, there's some homeless people around, you know, there's not too many, there's like 10, 15. Um, let's section off a little grid on the edge of town here, put up a bunch of little tiny homes, cheap to make, cheap to cost, and give them to these homeless people so they have a residence, so they're off the street. Um, using tax dollars. Um, there are conservatives who would be against that. A lot of conservatives that would be against that. And, the re and their reasoning is, they, it basically boils down to, they didn't earn it. They don't deserve it. Because, you know, if you were a conservative and, you know, this because this, this is what a conservatism does to your brain. Conservatism is inherently mean-spirited. Because what, what a conservative will think when looking at a program like that is they'll think not. What they should do is, is oh my god, that's great. People, if I was homeless when I was 20-something years old and struggling, and now and I and I had to and I had to fight and I had to fight and bleed to get to where I am today. I'm so happy other people don't have to go through the struggles and suffering that I did. They instead say, "Why don't they? Why aren't these pe Why aren't these homeless people going through the same suffering and struggles that I did? It's not fair." And that concept of fairness is very different on the left and on the right. Fairness on the left is making sure that everybody in your community is taken care of. It is making sure that if, like, if people's needs aren't met because of failures of the system, their needs are met. But conservatives think, I didn't get any help. Why should anybody else get any help? It's very narcissistic in a way. Think about the uh, student loan debt. It is objectively something that is hindering the economy and hindering an entire generation of people. But a bunch of boomers and Gen Xers don't want to do it because I think about my shit, black licorice, old shit, blah blah blah. I agree. You should keep the value of your work that you earn. Here. Let's do a little thought. Let's let me pull up something real quick for you. Let's do a hypothetical. Let's say you are a chair, like a chair maker, right? You want you make chairs, right? Each chair costs a, is costs a hundred dollars. At point of sale to a customer, it costs a hundred dollars. It costs a hundred dollars. Cool, right? So here's the thing. The value of the chair is is fifty percent the materials used to make it, and fifty percent the labor, your labor of actually making the chair in question. See, and if you were a one man shop, you would get a hundred percent of the value of the chair. Right? But, realistically, you're probably not working in a one-man shop. If you are, great. But if you're not, you're working for someone else who sells chairs. The person selling those chairs, your boss, basically covers the cost of the, of, of the chair, of like the materials for making the chair. So he puts forth 50%. So $50, right? But here's the thing. This dude wants to make a profit. He's not contributing any labor to making the chair, but it costs 
$50 out of 100 to make the chair. So where does the so where so where does he get his profit from? He takes it from your labor. So instead of pay of you getting 50 per, $50 50%, you are now getting 20%. And then the 30% that was originally supposed to be yours for making the chair, the labor goes to someone who did not do any work whatsoever, who wouldn't get this 30% if you didn't do the work in the first place. Socialism is an economic model, not a governmental model, which you're thinking of as communism. I know conservatives routinely use those words interchangeably like synonyms. They actually have meanings. All right, so let me bring it on home, all right? Um, why does the business owner need to be here, right? The business entity exists. Uh, the business uh, makes, like, like lattice framework organization war exists. Why does the business owner get to be the sole benefit of the growth? Because that 30%, that you know, if 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 fifty if 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 if, it, if, a, if you sell a chair for a hundred dollars, fifty of it is the um, materials needed to make it. Fifty percent of it, fifty dollars of it, is the labor used to you know make it. And you know the the business owner takes thirty like thirty dollars out of the labor cost to you know as profit. Why then? Does the business owner need to exist, right? Because here's the thing, that 30% of profit, $20 of it will go back into the business. Maybe they'll use it to hire more employees and something, that's great. But then they get to pocket 10. They get to pocket $10 for doing no work, for just having the luxury of having money that presumably by doing this a bunch of times previously and bringing it to the table. They did no labor and, you know, they don't get the $50 that was used for the materials. They just put $50 up. They got their $50 back. They're neutral. What did they do to earn that $10 that they can now pocket? Nothing. They didn't do any labor to deserve that. So why not have it so the, the laborer and all of his coworkers, they volunteer, you know, like, like when they, like they, they, you know, they all have a contract where they, where they give 20 to 30%, like they give of half of what they make off of labor to, for comp to, to, to bump up to the company and then, you know, as the company grows and makes more money, they get you, they that 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 comes back to them with even high with with the with higher wages. They get more bonuses, more benefits, things of that nature. And you're not having ten that ten dollars that wasn't going to that goes back to the workers, in, in instead of just going into a black void that doesn't contribute anything. That's socialism. Hoggers.